Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It's Andy here from AM Media Games. In this quick video I'm going to show you how to set up an auto align texture um, for things like brick walls, wallpaper, etc. or wooden floors. Um, so without further ado let me jump in and show you how to create that. So you can see here we've got two blocks, one uh, longer rectangle and one slightly shorter. But when I move the one on the right you can see that it automatically aligns it um, so it's world aligned. So it gets the location of the um, position of the object and it will automatically align those textures according to where its position is in the world. And we can see here with this one that it doesn't do the same. So you've probably noticed when you've applied a texture, when you go to increase the size, it increases the size and stretches all of the texture image. It's not good. But if we do that on an auto align one, it will keep the UVs the same and it will automatically align them so it will stay nice and detailed and you won't lose any of that quality with the stretching like you get on this. So to do that we're going to go into our folder <clears throat> and we're going to set this up. So we're going to right click, I'm going to go to material, I'm going to call this one auto align tutorial underscore one. I'm going to open that up. <clears throat> In here we're going to get a texture object make sure we get the texture variation and we're going to copy that so control C control V and if for any reason control C and control V doesn't work you can right click and then go down to duplicate and it will do that for you and um, so we're going to select on our first one <coughs> excuse me we're going to select on our first one I'm going to go to um, our browse content folders and we're going to have a look Four. let's do a brick wall so we'll go for let's do let's do this one and uh, we'll select this paste that in there we'll go back to that folder we'll get the normal I'm gonna paste that in there so now that we can see when we added the normal map it, it recognized it as a normal map and now it's changed the sampler type to normal and this one here is color. So we have our base color and we have our, our normal. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do now is we're going to create a scalar parameter. So we're going to hold S and left click. And we're going to call this our UV tiling size. And then out of our top one, we're going to get a uh, world align texture. And out of our bottom one, we're going to get a world align normal. We're going to connect our scalar parameter into our texture size on both of them, just like so. So this is what you should have so far. You should have two world aligns, one texture, one normal, one texture object set to normal with your normal map, and the other texture object set to base color with your base color map on there. And we have a scalar parameter, which is currently set to zero, which we'll adjust in a minute. We're going to set these up now. So we're going to add a single constant and we're going to set the value to one. This is going to give us our roughness to one so it's not reflective because brick walls aren't shiny. And then we're going to connect our X, Y, and Z alignment into base color. And we're going to connect our X, Y, Z alignment texture into our normal. You can see here now that we have no uh, tiling size, so it's just one blurred mess. So let's set this to 250 and we can see now we have our brick wall. If we set this to square, we can see how that will look. So we're going to click apply. We're going to go into our level and we're going to apply our texture that we just create, uh, created onto our wall. So it'll be this one. I'm going to apply that on there and we can see now that the wall, it has a normal map on. It looks quite good. You can see there that the textures are nice and aligned and if we were to move this in the world or we want to make a nice long wall it's not going to impact stretch or overscale the texture it's going to look perfectly fine so that's how you make a uh, an aligned texture in unreal the easiest way i can think of and um, if there's other ways of doing it let me know i mean i'm always willing to learn myself so yeah but if you like the video like it 
um, if you dislike it then at least let me know why in the comments uh, I don't see why you wouldn't like the video I mean I'm, a, I'm just trying to help people out but you know either way you're entitled to your opinion um, but yeah so share it to other people if they feel they need the help as well um, consider subscribing to help support me to support you guys with more tutorials and you can find me over on discord as well where I'm always open for a friendly chat or if you need any extra help I'm always down to helping people um, but yeah so thanks very much for watching take care and I'll see you in the next one Bye-bye for now.